Uh, when you're asleep, yes. how does God present uh, messages to you? <coughs> you see, the human psyche is fully provided with all the possibilities and all the eventualities which a man may confront. But part, the, the ultimate reason why we have been provided with this intricate phenomenon within ourselves is to bring us in communion with God. Right? Yeah. Now, if, you get a, if you have a radio set, there has to be some purpose to receive a, a, a certain program broadcast on a certain radio station. The more powerful the radio set is, the more clear the message would be. But a radio set without a remittent, remitting station is, is, no, is nothing. It's completely meaningless. <coughs> Unless it goes haywire and starts, you know, building its source messages and things by internal pulses and, and vibrations. This is exactly the case of human psyche. Human mind. Human mind is fully equipped with all the recipient uh, system of prophecy or communion from God. If it were not, God will not be able to commune with, with you. He transmits and you must receive. So the receiving set is provided in, you know, to every human being whether it is of high quality or low quality, it varies from person to person, but it is provided. Now, if there is no message from God, can this system be activated otherwise by other factors or not? This is the second question which should be answered. Yes. To my knowledge, yes. This system can be activated through human uh, in, uh, power, of the, 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 through the power of human mind as well. This we have observed in mesmerism, this we have observed in the case of uh, Pharaoh's magician, working on the minds of Moses and other people and making them imagine that they are snakes and not uh, ropes or strings. And according to Allah, this was their magic they, by which they bound the sights of the people. They didn't turn the ropes into, into snakes at all. So the power of mind working upon other minds is a proof of, what I'm, a, a proof of the truth of what I'm telling you. We have that system within us which can be activated and one can receive messages from outside by other human agencies. If so, why can't we receive messages from Allah? That's one thing. The second is, if there are no outside messages are delivered, we can receive the messages from within ourselves. And there's an internal activation of the system. That is the world of dreams. All that we think, all that we feel, our aspirations, our hopelessness, are uh, disgust with things and so on and so forth, disappointments, fears, all s continue to get buried below and below, you know, layer after layer in the subconscious mind. And whenever some stirring event takes place, which excites some layer of our buried knowledge and memory, they are stirred to action and rise to a higher level. Like uh, in, in uh, you know, atomic and molecular phenomenon, whenever the electrons of a lower orbit are excited, they change their orbit and go to higher, until they reach the highest and then they become visible, then they become active. Not otherwise, otherwise you don't need to take notice of them. So similarly, human ideas, are in latent dormant stage form, buried under the layers upon layers of other 
subsequent incidents and their memories. But when there is some uh, exciter, a factor which excites things, then they begin to rise to the surface and they reach the surface of dreams. Then the dreams are not fully organized. Sometimes they are not organized at all. But the strange behaviors, strange phenomenon, haphazard jumbling of things together, you sometimes begin to fly, sometimes you are afraid, sometimes you run away from somebody or something and you can't. And uh, all those dreams are rather hazy and uh, disjointed and things. These are not divine dreams. Because the divine dreams would have a message like a human message when it is delivered to the same psyche. Although a weak message, yet it is organized. So whenever you work your mind with somebody, you have a very specific message to deliver and if you are powerful enough, you succeed in delivering that message. Like as I have told you the example of Moses and the, and the Pharaoh's magicians. But when a message comes from God, he sees to it that there are no interferences. The message is delivered. And if there are interferences, God sees to it that they are removed later on and the message is finally settles down as a pure message from God. Now, it has its own internal signs which can be read by those who know the art of interpretation of dreams. <coughs> that is what reminds us of Hazrat Yusuf al -Islam. The way he interpreted the dream of the king of, of Egypt of that period, while all others had failed and they said it is just a psychic process, you know, that is what they said. al ghaful Alam. Their dreams which are just uh, if disturbance of stomach and this and that, some psychic disorder has made you see this dream. But Hazrat Yusuf al -Islam understood the, knew the art because he had learned it from God himself. He immediately saw what was within in it. And the subsequent years proved the events as they were unfolded later on for eight years continuously that he was right, 100% right. So this is a sure sign of a dream from God that not only it is readable because of its internal organization and logic and coherence, but also because the future events support the true interpretation of such dreams. So they could not have been messages from human minds because human mind has no knowledge of the future and has no command over events like the rains, the dry seasons and this and that. So this is how you should read dreams and if you can't analyze your own dreams, you can always write to me. Okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Please.